Interjections. Interjections with Billy Bug, full version. Created, produced, and edited by Bill and Larissa Green. Have fun with Billy Bug. English with Billy Bug. Interjection. Hey. What is an interjection? An interjection is one of the eight parts of the English language. An interjection is a word or words that expresses emotion, excitement, or feelings. Interjections stand alone. Nearly all English words can be used as an interjection. They are used commonly in spoken, casual, and informal English. Interjections can express positive, neutral, and negative thoughts. Can you find the interjections? Yikes! There's a spider on my foot. You prepared dinner all by yourself? Wow! Ouch! That bee just stung me! You finally graduated from university! Congrats! Oh dear! I don't know how to solve this problem. She spoke Yiddish all day. Cool! Fantastic! It is such a beautiful day today. Vocabulary Bank Interjection shares emotion, excitement, or feelings. Casual, opposite of formal. Neutral, somewhere in the middle. Potato four, five potato, six potato, seven potato. Congrats! Short for congratulations. Yiddish, a language with rich expressions. English with Billy Bug. Hello, interjection. Interjections can be formal and informal. What is an interjection? An interjection is a word, phrase, or clause that shares a person's feelings or emotions. That's just a start. Interjections are used every day in formal and informal English. Interjections sometimes have a clear definition or no definition. Any word in the English language can be used as an interjection. While interjections are considered as one of the eight, nine, or ten essential parts of English, they are not essential at all. Interjections can be used to complement a fact or thought. They're also used alone without further explanation. Remember, a complete sentence in English must contain at least one verb. Can you find the interjections? Hey. Hello, how are you today? Hey, what's up? Hi, how are you today? Good morning, how are you? Morning, how are you? Whoopee! Good afternoon! Afternoon!
Good evening. Is served. Evening. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, man, long time no see. Examples in this lesson are all about saying hello. They are all interjections. <laughs> Remember that any word can be used as an interjection. Hello is used to demonstrate how simple English can be in very easy to understand terms. English with Billy Bun. Yes, interjections. Great subject. First, what are interjections? Interjections are words and phrases used to express a strong feeling or emotion. Interjections stand alone and are not usually part of a true sentence. Remember that all sentences must have a verb. While it's common to place an interjection at the beginning of a statement, they can go just about anywhere. Interjections are followed by an exclamation mark or comma. An interjection can express surprise, joy, excitement, enthusiasm, or disgust. Any word in the English language can be used as an interjection. Yes is one of the most commonly used words B2B. in hey, the English language. Up. See you later. It is an adverb. At least that is what we are taught in school. Yes also falls into another entirely different part of the English language. If used completely alone without other words or a follow-up sentence, yes can also be referred to as a minor sentence. This is only if there is no further statement added. And the listener knows what you are referring to. Oh, wow. Yes can be used to express positive and negative thoughts. And is also used as a verb and noun. Can you find interjections? Yes, my team just won the football game. This is positive. Yes, your team just lost the football game. <laughs> this is negative. Yes, it's snowing again. I love playing in the snow. This is positive. Yes, my mother-in-law isn't coming for dinner. Yes, my boss just gave me a salary increase. That's positive. Yes, my boss was fired. Now I'll get his job. That's negative, isn't it? Informal and sometimes slang. There are many other ways to say yes. Here are a few words that mean yes. Yeah, okay, right on. Amen, totally. English with Billy Bun. No interjections. Interjections are another fun part of English. Interjections are used 
to share thoughts, excitement, emotions, joy, and more. Just one word is all it takes. Short phrases are also used as interjections. Remember that all sentences must contain at least one verb. If there is no verb, it must be another part of English grammar. The interjection no can be used many ways. It's used to express positive and negative statements. No is an adverb in English. Why? Because it modifies a sentence. However, no can also be referred to as a minor sentence if it is used alone. If the person listening to you understands the meaning of a single word, it's considered a minor sentence. Ask your English teacher to further explain the subject of interjections and the word no. Can you find the interjections? No, the weather is so nice today. That's positive, isn't it? No, I can't believe it's raining again. That's negative. No, she's getting married again. It's wonderful. That's positive. No, he has divorced again. It's the third time. No, he's being promoted again. That's great. No, he was fired again. That's good news. Informal and sometimes slang, there are many ways to use the word no. There are other ways to express the same thoughts and feelings. Other words might be considered informal or slang. <laughs> Here are a few more words and expressions that are used in other ways in English. To substitute for the word no. No way, uh-huh. Nope. Nah. Out of the question, not in a million years. Not likely, not on your life, when pigs fly, fat chance. English with really bun. Oh dear, and I never interjections. Interjections are always fun. What are interjections? Interjections are words and phrases used to express excitement, joy, feeling, surprise, and more. One very important element to interjections is intonation. What is intonation? It's the rise and fall of our voice. You might be challenged with the use of intonation. Many words and phrases can be used in a positive or negative manner. Oh dear, and I never are negative only interjections. These are almost always used before a statement. Other words may be added to these interjections to complement or intensify their meaning. Oh dear is used to express disappointment, shock, sympathy, and dismay. I never is used to express something shocking or scandalous. Can you find the interjections? 
Oh dear, it's raining again. It's disappointment. Oh dear, the accident was terrible. I am shocked. Oh dear, they didn't survive the accident. It's terrible. Oh dear, we're out of dog food again. I'm not happy about it. The term dear me can replace oh dear. They are fully interchangeable. I never. Our neighbor crashed his car again. It's shocking. I never. She's been dating three men. It's scandalous. I never. The price of gas has risen again. It's shocking. I never. They stole money from their employer. It's scandalous. The term, well, I never can be used to emphasize this interjection. English with really bug. What and wow interjections. Interjections are always fun to study. First, what are interjections? Interjections are words and phrases that express emotion, joy, happiness, shock, and more. Interjections stand alone. This means they're not always part of a sentence. Sometimes we add other words like intensifying adverbs to an interjection to add emphasis. Because what is also a question word, it's often used to confirm a statement. Wow can be used in a positive or negative manner. Proper intonation is very important when using interjections. Just one word in English can be defined many ways with the proper intonation. What is used to show surprise or disbelief? We often put other words before or after the word what. For instance... Eureka. Good idea. Say what? So what? You what? What the? Wow is used to show wow. you're surprised or impressed. Can you find the interjections? What? Can you believe what she just said to me? I'm very surprised. What? You just quit why, your why, job. Why, why, I don't why, believe why? it. What? It's raining again. What? You don't love me anymore? Wow, you don't have to work today. Let's go to the beach. Wow, I can't believe how well you paint. Wow, that football game was more exciting than I expected. Wow, my team just won their fifth game in a row. English with Billy Bunny. Alrighty, and okay, interjections. Interjections are words or phrases used to show feelings or emotions. Just about any word in English can be used as an interjection. Often interjections stand alone and are not part of a sentence. They are often placed before a sentence. Interjections are usually followed by a comma or exclamation point. We often add an adverb to an interjection to further express or emphasize a feeling or emotion. 
interjections are not needed to form a sentence. Remember that all sentences in English must have at least one verb. Alrighty and okay are used to express agreement or consent. These words are also used as discourse markers. Alrighty is used to express agreement or consent in an informal way. Often alrighty is followed by the word then. Okay is used to express agreement or consent in a formal way. Can you find the interjections? Alrighty, let's go to the park today. I agree. Alrighty, I'll loan you the money with interest. That's consent. Alrighty, we will reserve our flight for the holiday. I agree. Alrighty, you may borrow the car this weekend. Alrighty then, you've convinced me. Alrighty then, you can have the chocolate ice cream. Okay, I'll agree to the contract under that condition. Okay, tell the painter he has my approval to start the job. Okay, we'll get married next year. Okay, the mechanic can go ahead and repair our car. English with really bad. Ouch, and bravo interjections. Just about any word in English can be used as an interjection. Interjections are used to show emotion or feelings. Ouch is used to express sudden pain. This can be physical or emotional. Bravo is used to praise or congratulate someone. Remember that all sentences must have at least one verb. Interjections stand alone as one word or phrase. Most interjections are placed at the beginning of a statement followed by a comma or exclamation point. Ouch and bravo are often placed at the end of a statement to provide more emphasis. Ouch is used to refer to a sudden physical pain or emotional statement. Bravo is used to praise or congratulate someone. It's also used in a sarcastic manner when someone does something less than intelligent. Can you find the interjections? Ouch! My shoulder hurts from too much exercise. Ouch! Your statement hurt my feelings. Ouch! My knee hurts after falling. Ouch! You shouldn't have said that to me. You are standing on my foot. Ouch! That new suit took a big bite out of my wallet. Ouch! Look out! Bravo! Your performance was outstanding tonight. Bravo! You finished your project today. You just fell off your bike again. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Your presentation at the meeting was outstanding. Bravo, you've graduated with honors. 
You just spilled milk all over the table. Bravo. English with Billy Bun. No way and oops interjections. Interjections are a lot of fun to study. They often come out of nowhere to surprise a listener. Interjections are used to express feelings, excitement, and emotions. Most English words can be used as an interjection. Interjections can be a single word as well as a phrase. Often, but not always, interjections are placed before a statement. Remember that a sentence in English must have a verb. An interjection can be a part of a sentence too. Interjections come from all parts of English. A word is just a word until we decide how to use it. No way as an interjection means no or absolutely not. It can also be used to show disbelief or an impossibility. Oops Whoa, is used. I like it. See you later, alligator. When someone makes a statement about themselves. It could be about... Surprise, a small accident, or acknowledging a mistake made. Can you find the interjections? Can you loan me $20? No way! You haven't paid me back from the last time. Hey, did you see the comet in the sky last night? No way! I stared into the sky but couldn't see anything. Did you see the dog jump over that fence? No way! That fence is 12 feet tall. Oops, I didn't know you were walking around the corner, too. Oops, I just dropped your cup on the floor. Oops, I misspelled my name on this document. Ask your teacher to explain more about interjections and their use. Have fun with interjections. Thanks for watching. Deal. Time for dinner. Yes, dear.